Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Serpent with 1,326 rating versus Tristan Bridges with 965 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and with that being said, let's hop right in. We're going to go ahead and see Tristan Bridges win the rock, paper, scissors shoot, and decide to go first, 45 versus 60. Opening hands, we have Wright, Ash, Griffin, Small World, Illusion, so we don't know what deck they're on. And then they have Ash, Wind, Draco back, Roxy's and Field. Oh, this Ash. Yo, this Ash about to go insane. There's a there's a guy's name on DB. His name is Ash FTK. And he plays Crank Kids. I I think he'd be uh I think I think his name would live up to the moment here. Uh, draw Faithful. And then activate illusion effect. Go grab souls, put back. I wonder if they put back Faithful. Yeah, put back Faithful. Activate right. They admit defeat, realizing that they just they lose to what's known already. Uh, their prank kids don't do anything at that point unless they can get two on board because Meow's not going back. But very, very quick game one. It'd be like that sometimes. Next game, we have Terratop, Imperm, Talons, Basil Rose, Shoot, and E-Telly. Oh, they're on, they're on the Serpent Thumb deck. Uh, this deck... It's, it's kind of like 3-axis, but it's like not 3-axis. Then they have Pranks, Win, Rock, Crossout, and Valor. Okay, so this time, not getting FTK'd by Ash. They're even going all the way to like chain blocking and holding Meow. So effects will activate, go search Fusion spell, dump Field spell, and then Special Summon out Fire, Doodle effect, Tribute, to add back yeah it's not like they lose to bell or anything so you have cross out go for meow and then they're going to activate fire effect burn for 500 special summon out water link those off go in the bow wow water effect gang a thousand special summon out fire and then activate field spell search water uh set two and then end phase pranks so shuffle back doodle Meow and Roxy's and then draws into Ash Blossom. Also, they probably should have like not admitted defeat so quick. I mean, I get like the the theory behind it on DB. It's like, oh, I'm gonna lose this game. I may as well admit defeat so that way I can play more games and get more testing. But now your game two testing isn't as good because you don't know what you're playing against and it's game two, so you know, maybe you're supposed to keep Meow in Graveyard, depending on the situation. Uh, like, against the deck. So, some decks need to keep Meow in Graveyard. And then, you know, Special Summon out Terra Top. Terra Top effect. Go search. So it's going to go grab Tack and Tomborg. Oh, Terra, Terra Top, Tack and Tomborg. So good. Set Imperm before making Cherubini. And like Cherubini's just so good too, crazy. Like good cards into good cards into good cards. Uh, use the effect, this goes through because they have cross out for right. And then they're gonna add right, activate right, chain cross out, call right. And then activate e -Telly, special summon out the Amon. And then Amon effect, pay 600 to go search. Go search out Foxy Tune. Battle phase, try to beat over, because this is getting an attack because of Dump Temple. A lot of people forget about that. And then main phase two. Ooh, thinking about linking them off, but said, hold on. I'm going to go ahead and Foxy to an effect. Get rid of Basil Rose, shoot and that. Summon this. So this is the other punk. I have no idea how to say this card's name, and I'm not even going to try to. But it's just uh, the other level three. It's, I know there's also a spider, but this card has 12 attack, which is... You know something um then activate fusion spell oh i accidentally pressed fast forward but just get rid of the three summon out effects will activate field spell chain link one so gang yeah for, for for a second it was summoned to this zone and i was thinking why and I, I i was about to say something because it was like, why are they summoning to that zone? Do they not want to use the Cherubini zone? But like, obviously, they're going to have free zones here in a second. And then, Battle Butler effect to wipe. They said response, no. Chain Valor on Cherubini. This will be wiping the field. 
and then activate talons to draw chain ash so going on to game three now we get to see the three axis ish type deck go first we have ash red rose fusion destiny lance here right i'm sold best deck <laughs> they have ogre wind bell celestial and temple so activate special token and bring out faithful normal summon red rose effect to go grab draco back chain ogre synchro into shooting rise here this is still a really good play though like it's still it's still such a good play you get the dumb snow which is just an ftk versus prank kid special summon out rocks rose rocks rose go search out basil rose shoot and then activate basil rose shoot summon out red rose uh they're doing that there to keep shooting riser on board so that way they can try to synchro into a savage on the opponent's turn uh fusion destiny chain dagda set scythe accidentally just dumped fusion destiny there do they catch it yeah, I was about to say, it's kind of crazy if they just get the dump a brick from Deck to Grave. Well, another brick from Deck to Graveyard. Draw Ogre. And then, said main phase one. Activate Temple Effect. So they could have Lanciad, but you wouldn't really want to do that because, like, you have Snow. And, like, you know, they have to, like, specifically open Temple there for you to, like, get punished. They, they could have Ash if they want to. Uh, but they decided not to activate Dagda to go set Lancia that's already in their hand. They only play one special summon out token, bring out Fateful, and then Fateful effect, Chain Enforcer. Enforcer is going to pop Scythe and Fateful, and then Scythe Chain Link 1, Bell Chain Link 2, Normal Wind. And they let this go. They let this go. He just. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Easy enough. Snow. Snow effect. Set. Handshake. You could even banish Lancia from hand to keep Scythe and Griever. So if Dagda gets beat over, you can summon back. But then they're just going to beat over Shooting Riser. But then you get to keep your Link. Like your... What even this is called? Link 2? Link amounts? I don't know. You get, you get to keep your two Link points. So that way you can um, go ahead and get easier access to game next turn. Go for Link Spider. And then go for Anaconda. I think they're going to activate Snow. Oh, so they play the Moonlit. Or Moonlight. I always forget I always forget his name. I think it's Moonlight. And I think I'm just getting it confused. But this is going to get hit with Ogre though. Said hold every response to the Synchro effect. Yeah, it's just Ogre. And then... Anaconda effect, pay 2,000. But now they just have DPE versus the opponent's DPE. And this DPE, like this Celestial, will draw before theirs. So they're going to easily be able to play through this. Dag does summon Scythe that should be in defense. That has to summon in defense. Uh, Scythe effect, and they're going to enforce their effect, pop Anaconda and Scythe. It's like, yeah, it gets a body off board. Um, now, their DPE will for sure be able to trade with their DPE. Like, the effect of DPE. They just pop anything. Uh, Dasher summon out Valor. And then they're going to standby phase, bring out. They can set Lancia. Celestial draw into Bell. And then into Ash Blossom. Nice. Not really that nice. Normal summons out Bell. Ooh. Um, I mean, it depends what they play in their extra deck, right? If they're able to do a lot here, if they're going to go for Lina, Lina can special summon back out Ogre, which is a body. So summon that out, and then get rid of those, go for Needle Fiber. Okay, could just turn Bell and Snow in the Needle Fiber and, like, skip the whole Lina thing, but I, I, I guess going through Lina's cool. You already have a Light in Graveyard, though. Puts another card in Graveyard for Snow. Okay. The Snow argument's fair. Summon. But as long as they just play Selene, they have game. Yeah. Effect. And then they're going to Chain Enforcer, Chain Enforcer, Pop Ogre in that, Special Bat. Cool, they can activate the Graveyard Effect if they want to, but just go for this, Gang Attack, and then go for Game. Uh, GG's, GG's. 
Yeah, I think that was just played a little bit weird on Serpent Thumb's part. But at the same time, this is a really hard board for Prank Kid to break, especially because they play like the Synchro 7 on top of that. Like, that just makes it way, 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 way too hard. They did have the Ogre to respond to that, though. You know, they, they had Temple, Prank Kid, Hand Trap, Bzz, Brick. Fair. Um, seeing how long the match was. It's only 24 minutes long. Wow, it's two quick matches I recorded in a row. Fair enough. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.